An estimated over 50,000 pro-life activists marched the streets of Washington, D.C. amid heavy snowfall for the annual March for Life. It featured everyone from children to elderly, from atheists to nuns, and the younger generation are at the forefront of this issue. The amount of people, younger people who showed up, always amazes me. I've been going to the March for Life for since I can remember, remember ever since I could walk, and it's and I've been to multiple protests, marches, and rallies within Washington D.C. since that point, and I'm convinced it's the biggest march I've ever seen or been to. Even the newly elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives gave a testimony to the crowd. I am myself a product of an unplanned pregnancy. In January of 1972, exactly one year before Roe v. Wade, my parents, who were just teenagers at the time, chose life. And I am very profoundly grateful that they did. This was the second March for Life since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in June of 2022, erasing the constitutional right to abortion. But activists concur that the fight is far from over. We're not just here to mess around. We're taking this issue seriously, and we want to end abortion and make it unthinkable within our country. And that's by showing up and showing people that we will not only stand for life, we will march and walk with people through life. And that means it's encouraging women who may be caught in an unexpected pregnancy if you're from a different socioeconomic status, race, religion, you name it. Like we are there to support life and all of its vulnerabilities no matter what. Activist Anna Lewis says the movement plans to continue advocating for and meeting the needs of mothers and those in unplanned pregnancies. And as abortion remains legal in some form in 36 U.S. states, their work on the state level is more important than ever. Going within each state and being a localist is significant and incredibly important, important which is why of organizations like the March for Life, for example, we're focusing on state marches and we're saying, hey, we're not only doing the national march, we're going to try to get in your state and march for life at a local level so your local representatives can see that this is an issue that matters. Following the 2024 March for Life, efforts across the country will continue to not only end abortion, but also make it unthinkable.